Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin our show with our, our prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Prayer for the protection of hands and inclusion, Philippines. God, our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people we are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear Envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hands in Inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calusod, pray for us. Saint Clare of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and cancel inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the words we picked it upon you to do COVID-19. This is... Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial Wednesday edition. Today is Wednesday, July 21, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclurajo, Enhanced in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today. From Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? We will begin our topic proper in just a moment and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Editorial Wednesday Edition. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for Editorial for Wednesday, July 21, 2021, I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about nutrition for children with disabilities. There is an increasing international interest in the links between malnutrition and disability. Both are major global public health problems. Both are key human rights concerns and both are currently prominent within the global health agenda. At numerous points throughout the life cycle, malnutrition can cause or contribute to an individual's physical, sensory, intellectual, or mental health disability. By working more closely together, these problems can be transformed into opportunities, nutrition services and programs for children and adults can act as entry points to address and in some cases avoid or mitigate disability. Disability programs can improve nutrition for the children and adults they serve. Obesity. Children with limited mobility or those who have conditions like Down syndrome can have low muscle tone or bone issues, thereby making it harder to keep their weight down. It is vital to establish good eating habits from the start, limiting sugary, salty, and processed foods so that children can try to eat fresh seasonal foods. It is likewise vital to inquire about any child's nutritional programs in your area which focus on the importance of healthy eating. If your child understands how sugar, fat, and cholesterol affect their bodies, they are much more likely to embrace a healthy lifestyle than if they are simply told what they should and shouldn't be eating. Parents can help make shopping a fun experience for kids, encouraging them to read food labels and to choose healthy snacks. Children should also be encouraged to find an activity they love and feel confident doing. This is done through fun activities like sports, workouts, and more, ladies and gentlemen. The winner-loser mentality should be thrown out the window as long as kids are having fun in a safe environment. Group exercise will also cure the problem of social isolation and help a child make new friends outside their traditional circle. 
this will this is done for kids to be away from television and technology which is a cause for concern for children worldwide underweight children with special needs can be underweight because of various problems difficulties with swallowing is involved some kids have a particularly speedy metabolism caused by conditions such as cerebral palsy where muscular spasms burn up a significant number of calories this phagia is an issue which needs to be diagnosed by a therapist in mild cases the therapist can work alongside your child to improve the swallowing mechanism in serious cases a feeding tube may be necessary the first step for most parents whose kids don't have a hearty appetite is usually experimentation trying out an assortment of foods that are most likely to stimulate the palate and provide adequate nutrition if your efforts are proving unfruitful vitamin supplements can be at can be an ideal way to ensure a child's daily requirements are met. It is also important to look beneath the surface and analyze whether a child's lack of appetite can be caused by an underlying issue such as depression. This is characterized by a lack of interest in activities and hobbies. A child used to enjoy a lack of energy and an avoidance of social occasions and interaction. If the depression is, is suspected, you should obtain help from a psychologist or psychiatrist who can suggest successful therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy, medication, or a mixture of both approaches. In having a complex relationship with food, a child with special needs may face spe specific barriers to having a healthy relationship with food. For instance, a child with autism spectrum disorder may have an intensively, intensely negative reaction to particular textures, tastes, or colors. Children with Down syndrome, meanwhile, may prefer softer foods because of difficulties encountered when chewing or swallowing. If a child refuses to eat items outside a select list of foods, the importance of a good supplement may again come into play. Many parents report that simply getting their child to eat at all is a big achievement and this should remind us that nutrition should be approached on a step-by-step -step basis and that every small victory should be celebrated to the full. Some 75% of kids with special needs take medications. Examples of these are antidepressants, anticonvulsants, mood stabilizers, etc. are linked to the gain of weight. It might therefore be worthwhile for parents to speak to their child's doctor to discover if there are alternative medications with lesser side effects. For the genetic factors, the syndromes involved that can lead to a higher risk for the weight gain are the following. Down syndrome, spina bifida, autism spectrum disorder, prader willi syndrome, Cohen syndrome, Carpenter syndrome, Borgeson syndrome, and the list goes on. In summary, overcoming the biggest nutritional challenges of special needs children is a complex issue that is sometimes within and sometimes beyond a parent's grasp. Yet, to the extent we can, it is vital to ensure that our children enjoy the colorful, flavorful, rich textured, world of healthy food and to get their hearts racing to the inviting rhythm of sport and life and that's the end of our pre-recorded proper for editorial for wednesday july 21 2021 thank you very much okay so we're done with our topic proper. We will be having an intermission of around uh, five minutes. We'll be back after five minutes for the announcements proper. So coming up next, we'll be having some announcements proper. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll be back after five minutes. Thank you.
Okay, welcome back to Editorial. Here are some of the announcements. For our, our announcements, first of all, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. First, we are selling our Hands in Inclusion Philippines tote bags. Here are the following prices. If you want the picture without text, sizes range from small to large and prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want the picture in the front with text at the back, sizes range from small to large and prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. We also have our Bagong Tapang t-shirts and the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. So for the Bagong Tapang t-shirts, the available colors are white, blue, and red. And in the case of the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, it's white, black, blue, yellow, and red. Because of the 7.7 .7 sale until the end of this month, our Bagong Tapang t-shirts and the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts sizes and prices range from extra small to triple XL and prices range from 325 pesos to 370 pesos. Ciao. So all our t-shirts are 7% off until July 31st only. So if you want to purchase our t-shirts, the Bagong Tapang and the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, Sizes range from small to triple XL and prices range from 325 pesos to 370 pesos. Also, for the first time, guys, Hansen Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks made by its own artists. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches. Prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want an acrylic glass, we have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 peso charge, but it's optional. 
Also, we have we include RS 250 pesos and the iniibig ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs 150 pesos. So our stickers range from 150 pesos to 250 pesos. How can we pay? First of all, well, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from our following payment providers. Gcash, Paymaya, Palawan Pawn Shop, and Cebuano Lumiere. For the Gcash and our Paymaya, via the cell phone number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. Also, we're accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Cebuano Luminier, but you need to message the Hands in Inclusion Facebook page for more details. So for our delivery methods, we will deliver your ordered products via our following courier providers. If you're living in areas under the NCR Plus or Metro Manila or Mega Manila, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country, it will deliver to you nationwide via LBC. Also, if you want to do donations for hands and inclusion, here it is. Guys, we will introduce to you the Baria Para Sa Inclusion. So what is Baria Para Sa Inclusion? First of all, the Baria Para Sa Inclusion is a fundraising project for Hands in Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this are the following. To help persons with disabilities who are less fortunate and unemployed due to this trying time. And the formality of Hands in Inclusion Philippines and its expenses. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. For every amount, you can help persons with disabilities enhance and inclusion Philippines for its projects and expenses in the future. So if you want to do this via Coin Bank, put some every amount of coins in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If it's full and heavy, Message us at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines Facebook page for the deposit. If you want to do this via GCash, send any amount via GCash number 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. And you may send your proof of donation via handsin.inclusion at gmail.com for the subject of Baria Pars Inclusion dash GCash dash your name. So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. Also to donate to Hands in Inclusion via the PISO or the Baria para sa Inclusion. And also, every peso counts. For those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And also, guys, please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. And also, let's rebuild our organization in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion. And we are aiming to raise funds for Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So for those who did this, guys, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands in Inclusion Philippines. Hands in Inclusion Philippines is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you are willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and or a desktop and a strong and a reliable internet connection, If you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, 
And if you are a college graduate, then send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. This month, Best Buddies Philippines is focusing on the Empowerment Series. So this is a joint between Best Buddies Philippines and the Atma Prema Wellbeing Group. This is um, a month full of Empowerment Series of sessions. Our next activities will be on July 24, this Saturday. I am determined and July 31, I am proud of myself. If you're interested to join the Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram, send them a message, and they will send you the registration form and link as well. This Saturday, July 24, 2021, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the La Salle College of St. Minild will have its virtual commencement exercises. So the event will be done at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, on behalf of Hanson Inclusion, we would like to greet our Benilgens who will be graduating for second term 2020 to 2021. Congratulations in advance. And thank you for doing ordinary things extraordinarily well. Also, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow Hanson Inclusion on its social media pages and its digital platforms. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. So it, you may do so by following us on Facebook, Anthony Inclusion PH, Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, Inclu Gaming, and the online shop. Instagram, Anthony Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel. Hansen Inclusion Filipinas and Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. So, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hansen Inclusion Philippines. Okay, let's have the time for our shout outs and greetings. For those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, I would like to say good afternoon to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Hansen Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, and Best Buddies Benilde. Project Inclusion Network, Autism Strong Philippines, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Special Olympics Philippines, SM Cares, A Child's Dream Foundation, Miss Possibilities Foundation, or Boundless Possibilities Foundation, a Ch uh, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, um, and to other PWD organizations, thank you. To Angat PWD United, thank you. And also to my high school and college friends, good afternoon po and thank you. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, 
good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. As we wrap up our show this afternoon, I would like to share you a quote from Robert Earl. Beginning nutrition education is early in early childhood is an important part of helping to ensure that children will achieve healthful lifestyles. Okay. That wraps up our episode for Editorial for Wednesday, July 21, 2021. I'll be back again tomorrow for the Inclusive Report Thursday edition. On behalf of Intu Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng Diyos ng poong may kapal. We include our yes, we at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other, and we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa one inclusion nation. H&I, God first. Thank you very much. Have a blessed evening to all. Good night. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Maraming salamat. Magandang gabi. Salamat po sa inyong panunood at paalam at mabuhay. Bye-bye!